So Dybala is up next with the 96 team of the season. He is an absolute beaut and we love a good Dybala team of the season. He, him and Griezmann together are always what I get excited for. It will be a shame when one of them eventually doesn't get the team of the season. But he is a 5-star, five 5-star five with the exact playstyle pluses as Armand Martinez, who was an absolute joke of a striker. Incredible. I'm hoping Dybala does the same. We've got the 94 pace, 97 shooting, 96 passing, 98 dribbling. The only thing that he doesn't have that Martinez does is a little bit more pace, obviously, on Martinez, and the physicality is a little bit dropped. Now, with Dybala, I, I don't think that really matters too much. Chemistry star-wise, people are looking at that Hawk, which I can imagine is purely to just max out that shooting, max out the pace, and get a little bit more on that physicality. It's not going to have a massive impact, but... It should make him just the all-round absolute monster. He would be a 98 cam, 97 center forward right wing or left wing, or a 95 striker. Now he's coming in at the same price at about 1.65. So let's see if he's worth it because I don't know if he's going to actually make it into the ultimate team of the season. We'll see that Friday. But for now, let's have a look at Dybala. Ooh, he's dealing with a five back today. Very nice. Straight into his feet. Nice touch. Looking for that ball. Okay, we got a good work. And there's definitely a couple of positions that Dybala could, could squeeze himself into. Obviously, he's got that left foot, which is going to be perfect for moments around here. Because you're going to find the potential to get that rebound. But he has got the left foot, so the finesses are going to fly from there. But then also, you can go for the striker-esque Dybala. What on earth is this guy doing with Neymar? Are we just giving him the whole space? Get away from that. We can obviously go for the more striker Dybala, who most definitely is going to be able to give you a, a fair whack at a go. Good tackle. Very, very nice. But then also you've got the Cam Dybala, somebody who is going to be more assist in play than anything. And it will totally depend on where you want him because of who you've already got. He has given me the, the run in here. Can we go past him? Nice. Very nice. What is his free kicks, actually? He's got 99 accuracy, so he should actually be relatively decent at it. But it might be a bit far away for this one. I think this one's got to be like, what, 30? Yeah, like 35? Did 32. What, what have we actually got? He's got... Oh, okay, yeah. So he is absolutely spot on for any free kicks. 99 on everything. Fair enough. But I think you could argue both uh, positions, whatever you want with him. You could either go with the... That's going to be the ball. Where, where is he? Jairzinho is just going to get the shot off easy. But you could go for the cam for the more assisting if you've already got some good strikers. Or if you wanted him as a striker partner or something there, you could definitely have that as well. Here he is, Jairzinho. Looking for the run. There's Virgil. Oh, of course. Honestly, trying to chip past a, a Virgil is just unreal. Like six foot four, built like a brick. And just blocks everything. Into his feet. Nice. Looking for that assist play if we can. Rabiot's making the move. It's a good ball. One pass. One finish. And that's a beautiful save from Ortega of all people. Going to make the run off him. That's the ball. It's beautiful. He's got the left foot in sight. Virgil is going to go for the fake. Oh, he's moved the keeper. It's an easy one. We've settled it with just a simple fake. And Dybala with the finish. There it is. Oh, are we on side? Can we get it in? Ah, Virgil's going to get the physicality battle easily there. It's why I would say if you are playing him as the striker role, I would have... Oh, that's bad. I would heavily suggest having a second with him. Just... Just... Whoa, okay. I'll tell you that. Mudry with a beautiful goal. I would say just because of the physicality battle... It, it's going to be fine because he's got the dribbling, he's got the pace to kind of keep him going. But he most definitely could do with the assist. Oh, Yaya trying to squeeze it for him. So if you can get him kind of one-on-one, -on -one, but you can kind of keep your distance with the uh, with the dribbling, with the, the speed, then that should be fine. But one-on-one -on -one physical, he's unfortunately not going to be able to hold a candle to any centre-back in that top echelon of players. Like, you're looking at the Bastonis, you're looking at the Rio Ferdinands, the Maldinis, the Virgils, the Canates. They've they got far too much strength for him to, to warrant being able to do. Passing-wise, ooh, okay, we'll take the Jairzinho ball instead. 
looking for him back if we can. Yaya's making that run on the inside. Dybala into Rabiot looking for the right foot this time. Keepers move to the right. And it's a nice and easy finish again. Very, very nice. And with that, okay, with any sort of striker, especially team of the season, I expect them to be able to score. Not necessarily tap ins all the time. Oh, Virgil, lovely. Little finesse is coming in. Warrant here. You expect him to be able to score that. He's got the finesse plus. He's got the 97 shooting. 99 once you go with, obviously, the, uh, the chemistry style of Hawk. So. That should be child's play. It's kind of the extra work. What's his body type like? What's his height? Is his pace good enough? Is his physicality a problem or not? Does he make the runs like this? In and behind everybody. Keepers out. It's just a little tap. You're not going to uh, stop him with a keeper there. So he is most definitely a fan favorite of mine. Definitely. Him and Griezmann are very similar in, in terms of how they play as a striker. Griezmann definitely coming in just that little bit better this year. I feel like he's had such a good year in terms of the gold card and just in general. Good save. So I'm very, very happy Dybala's eventually caught up, even though he has had a fair whack of cards, to be fair to him. You're looking at triple informs once we save this. You're looking at a Serie A player of the month twice, a winter wild card, and now into this 96. He's always a fan favorite to be able to have in footies as well. Can we get that run off there? That's the one. He's, he's bringing Virgil out all the time, trying to just pace around him, but not happening. Can we get something here? No, that was uh, rubbish dribbling from myself. He's going to try for that ball over the top. We should have him on that turn. Should have him on that turn. Watch out the way. Oh, that was poor. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's my own defensive problems. We're not looking at the defense here. We're looking at Dybala. Ooh, sees him out. Goes for the finesse, but the angle. Terrible. Terrible angle. It does help when you've got absolute wingers there. Little one more. Back to him. Spin Virgil if he can. Look into the middle. Ah, didn't get enough on it. Ooh, finding him out wing here. Obviously, we've got some middle play here. Just a little one. Cheeky one. He's going to find Jarzinho. Oh, what on earth is going on? He's absolutely bottled it. Fonds himself rolled. It's an easy one here. He's got the finesse. Once you're one-on-one -on -one with a keeper, and especially if he's not come out, if he's not keeper movement and, and kind of going for that left-hand side, I, I mean, even if you go for the left-hand side, you're just going to go right. It's an easy finish for anybody with that finesse plus. It's broken one-on-one. -on -one, so close without keeper movement that is there he is looking for the right foot and we get very very lucky with that one it just bounces off and we get a right footed deflection goal looks for the through ball into Teo it's very nice Teo with an incredible amount of pace oh he tries to bring it back that baller takes the victory Looking a bit down wing. I think he can do all of it. That That's the best bit about Dybala is he's got the ability to go to feet. You can run onto him because of pace. And he's got that passing to get him out of positions. And then also the shooting just to go for it if you really need to. He's kind of got that quadruple threat when it comes to going forward. And and it's not going to work off every time, obviously. it's If that was the case, Christ would be the best player in the game. But most definitely it'll work out. A lot more than it won't. Ho hopefully. If, if you're running it right. <laughs> Good running from Dybala. He's going to try and ping her in there. Little one across. Jarzinho with the header. I was looking for a volley. I'm not going to lie. Dybala keeping the ball alive. Which is always nice. Can we just... Oh, that's not the ball I wanted either. Good ball through. Rabiot, gotta go for the shot. It's a beautiful save and we take the corner. It's gotta be. Oh, Dybala, every single chance has been incredible. And that one time he needs to equalize, at least get him one back. And he absolutely bottles it. Can we go with an outrageous attempt to just not get that back? Jesus. Oh, there he is. He's got a chance to lighten the mood. Oh, and that's my fault. I totally bottled that big time. Good turn. Has he got the pace? It's him versus Jordi Alba. 
We're going to look for him on the left. We've got the pace to do him. Bull roll into the finish. It's quick. It's beautiful. That is the Dybala we want to see in this final. Lovely again. Great dribbling from him. Perfect, intricate play. As we're looking back, he's a very, very good partner here, this guy. Oh, but Teo stopped it as well. Oh, it's a great ball. Oh, he's done it. Oh, fall over, Teo. He's gone for the slide. I've looked at... Ah, I was looking for it. I was absolutely... And I can't even say it otherwise. I literally thought he was going to go down. He had the animation. The legs brushed against me. And Teo, being the good person he is, didn't bother even falling. And I guarantee they go from this. It's messy. Ah, uh, he's gone through. No, he hasn't. Frimpong is giving it back to him after taking it. Oh, we got it back. And we've given it away. And we got it back. Oh, not like this. Unbelievable. So going into the overall forum then, honestly, what a tournament with him. Absolutely brilliant. 1.6, definitely well spent if you're going for this guy. Now, price-wise, he's starting to equal out that a little bit better, which is nice. Um, I don't know whether he's going to be an ultimate or not. That's going to be the big deciding factor for a card like this because... If he does end up in ultimate, kind of like Martinez, I think Martinez has more of a shout purely on the fact that he is 97, so it's a little bit higher. But I don't know how many cards they truly are actually adding in. Are they just going in for the best of the best? Because the problem is there is we've got a lot of strikers at such a top level, so... It, it's not as if it's anything to do with him kind of thing, because when you look at just the uh, kind of Serie A alone, when you look at them, you've obviously got Martinez. You've then got a 96 Giroud. You've got a 95 Oshima, 95 Liao. So Liao is going to come in as a left mid, left wing, so that's fine. Martinez is one of the highest rated. But then if you was to pick between like the Giroud and Dybala, it depends if they're going all out for the price or if they're going for some people that maybe are a little bit cheaper so that you've got the option to get them more, if you get what I mean. Because when you look at the kind of forwards, or at least the strikers say, you're looking at Haaland at the, at the minimum, Mbappe, Messi, CR7. I believe CR7 will be part of the team of the season uh, ultimate mixed or ultimate secondary league, I suppose. Um, but then if you look uh, kind of elsewhere, if you're thinking Harry Kane's 97, um, you'd kind of choose James and Pop, I'm assuming, as the mixed or the secondary league. So that shouldn't impact it. But then even if you go further down, then you've got Martinez. You then got, uh, if you go for just the major leagues... You then have Vinny, you have Griezmann, you also then have Dybala, Giroud, you have, uh, no, not Morgan, not Neymar. You then go down to Lewandowski, and you know, like, you know what I mean, there's a lot of strikers already. If, if they're only going for, say, five strikers, or say, ten strikers at an absolute maximum, then really, you've already got the max price. Because they're not just, well, I hope they do, but they're not just going to pick everybody of the top value. I, I feel like they'll go for a, a kind of a spread, because I feel think it's 94 and above that can be in there basically we got a pack that was like 11 94 team of the seasons or something like that, or 92 team of the seasons so i'd imagine a lot of the top ones are going to be of that sort of rating so it'll be interesting to see nonetheless but that's a long-winded point to say if he's in it he goes down more if he's not he might still go down a little bit more because obviously people are going to be wanting the better and bigger players and if you do manage to have another shot at them it might make them just that little bit more easier to get whether it actually does we know full well that ain't true but in terms of the card as a striker decent very very decent he held his own really well i felt his pace was just blistering so you could go wing you could definitely go cam and be the assister of two strikers so if you had like a martinez and a liao he would be a perfect cam role there which i think is what would be his ideal position because he's got that long shot he's got the finesse from outside the box that's going to work really well for this card whereas as a striker solo striker i don't think he beats out like an mbappe whether well i, I know fully won't be an mbappe but i'd probably prefer liao there as well i felt like he just had a bit more 
physical aspect to his game. Now, Dybala definitely did well. By any means, any of them clips <laughs> does not mean he didn't do well. He was phenomenal. So, a very, very good card all round the pitch. I think he's kind of one of them cards that's great in that attacking zone. Cam, centre forward, striker, left wing, right wing. He's going to be able to do it all. Especially if you can really focus on that uh, kind of finesse shot. That's going to be a wonderful thing to have with him. Especially then having a bit of technical if you, if you prefer to use that. Or then obviously going in for something kind of more flair based it might be worth your time but he is absolutely brilliant i would say a 10 out of 10 worth having a look at at the minimum let me know down below what you think about him and i'll catch you all for the next one paces